Hello, my dear students. My name is Mrs. Mariam Farid. Today, we are going to cover our uh, poem for the second term, which is Blue Blue. Um, let's talk uh, before reading the poem. Let's talk about the author uh, or the poet himself. Slide three. Talking about William Shakespeare, the poet. William Shakespeare is one of the greatest dramatists in the English literature. He was born in Stratford Avon in 1564 and died in 1616. He wrote several plays which are considered masterpieces in the English literature. Shakespeare's plays are translated into all international languages. Slide four. Uh, you have to know uh, when and where this uh, poem was written. This poem is a song taken from his play As You Like It. We said that William Shakespeare wrote a lot of plays. One of these plays was As You Like It. And this poem was written into this play. In the play, a lawful duke was driven out of his dukedom by his wicked brother. I mean evil one. The duke went to live in the forest with some of his followers. One day, while they were having a meal together in the forest, one of the duke's followers sang that song, which reveals the feelings of the duke and his followers towards evil and wickedness. So, this song was written in As You Like It, the play As You Like It. This song was said by one of the followers of uh, uh, the lawful duke in the forest while they were about to have their... Uh, a dinner. Let's read the poem itself, slide five, stanza one. Blow, blow the winter wind, thou art not so unkind as man's ingratitude. Thy tooth is not so keen, because thou art not seen. Although thy breath be rude, he who sing, he who unto the green holly, most of friendship is feigning, most loving mere folly. Then he who the holly, the life is most jolly. Let's move to the other slide, talking about the vocabulary, because as you uh, see, we have a lot of uh, uh, words written in Old English here, like thou means you, art means are, ingratitude, unthankfulness, when you don't show any uh, 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 thanks to the others, keen, sharp, thy, your, rude, not nice, he, who, it's a happy song, holly, an evergreen plant used as a sign of joy for uh, Christmas decoration, feigning, untrue, mere, I mean only, folly, foolishness, jolly, pleasant. Slide seven, talking about the paraphrase of uh, uh, the first stanza. The poet asked the cold wind, winter wind, to blow as hard as it can. He says that the cold, strong wind is much kinder than ungrateful friends and not so cruel as the ingratitude of man. He says that the bite of cold wind is not so painful as wind can't be seen. It's not as sharp as man's teeth and can't hurt as man's teeth. Now, uh, the poet here is making a comparison between the uh, cold wind in the forest and his brother or uh, those ungrateful friends. He adds that most of friendships are untrue and love is just foolishness. He believes that friendship and love hardly exist, but of course we have true friends around us, but not all of them would be real ones. So he invites people to leave their false life and their unfaithful friends and come back to nature where life is so simple and everything is true and pleasant. In the forest there is nothing to worry about or fight for. So, after making or holding this comparison, he discovered that his life in the forest would be great because he wouldn't find unfaithful friends there. So, his recommendation is to invite the others to come and to enjoy their life in the forest just like him, to find true love and to find true friends there. Slide 8. Moving to the figures of speech, 
Number one, we have personification. We could find a lot of personifications. Number one, in blow, blow the winter wind, the poet here addresses the winter, I mean talking to the winter wind, as if he is talking to a human being. The poet speaks to the wind, asking it to blow, because it's not harmful like the unlawful or uh, unlawful friends or the, uh, um, his friends uh, who are not faithful. Two, thou art not so unkind. The winter wind is given the human ability to be kind or not, so it's personification. See, thy tooth is not so keen. Another personification here, because the winter wind is given the human ability to bite using teeth like humans. Moving to metaphor, we have one in although thy breath be rude, the cold winter wind is compared to bad breath. Slide nine. We have simile as man's ingratitude. The winter wind is compared to man's ingratitude. We have here as. Number four, alliteration. Blow, blow the winter wind. The consonant B and uh, uh, W is repeated. This creates internal music. Most of friendship is feigning. Most loving, more folly. Consonant F and N is repeated. This creates internal uh, music. We have here friendship and feigning. We have most and mere. Consonant, uh, sorry, number five, contrast. We have rude and jolly. Moving to slide 10, we have also repetition. Blow, blow, the winter wind. The word blow is used more than once here. He, who, sing he, who. The word he, who is used twice here as a kind of singing. Slide 11, don't forget that you have to study the rhyme scheme by heart. It's the sound that we could hear at the end of each line of the poem. The rhyme scheme of the first stanza here, it's A, B, C, D, D, C, E, 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 E. I mean by repeating the letters, the same sound is repeated. Slide 12, moving to the second stanza of the poem. Freeze, freeze, thou bitter sky that does, does not bite so nigh, as benefits forgot, thou, though thou the water warp, thy sting is not so sharp, as friend remembered not, he who sing he who unto the green holly, most of friendship is feigning, most loving mere folly, this life is most jolly. Uh, slide 13. Moving to the meanings of uh, this, uh, these words, bitter means uh, painful, does means does not, benefits good deeds, nigh, I mean near, warp, to turn or twist out of shape, sting, a bite of an insect. 14, slide 14, the paraphrase, to write the explanation that you can understand of these uh, lines, the poet asked the winter cold wind to freeze the water. I mean to be very cold. He said that although the freezing winter water is biting, I mean uh, very sharp, it's less painful than a thankless friend who forgets friendship. Yes, we can bear this cold wind, but we can't stand a friend who is untrue. The effect of man's ingratitude is felt more and has more bad effects on human beings than cold weather. That is so shocking and it can turn water into ice. But when we are alone with nature, away from ungrateful people, our lives would be cheerful and happy. Slide 15, moving to the figures of speech. We have also here personification. Freeze, freeze, thou bitter sky. The poet here speaks to the winter wind, asking it to freeze. So he treats this winter uh, 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 wind as a human being. Uh, B, that does not bite so nigh. The winter wind is given the human ability to bite. So it's here, uh, we can consider it as personification. We have simile. Thy sting is not so sharp as friend remembered not. The poet here compares the bite of cold wind to ungrateful friends using as. Slide 16. 
we have alliteration here. The, 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 the water warm. The consonant sound the is repeated in the and the and the. The consonant sound w is repeated in water and warp. This creates, of course, internal music. Contrast, forgot and remember the opposite, two opposite words to make the, main, the meaning clear. We have repetition, freeze, freeze, dull, bitter sky. The word freeze here is used twice, of course, to ensure the meaning. He who, sing he who, onto the green holly, the word he who is used here twice. Slide 17, the same, we have to study the uh, rhyme scheme of uh, the second stanza. I mean the sound that we could hear at the end of each line. It's F, F, G, H, H, G, E, 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 E. By repeating the uh, letters, I mean we have the same sounds. The rhyme scheme and the repetition of the lines give music to the poem, of course, and make it as a song. Uh, slide 18. What's the main idea of this poem? The poet says that all love is just foolishness and all friendship is false because people only pretend to love each other. Of course, he's talking because of the problem that he faced with his uh, uh, brother. So the poet here invites people to abandon their false life, I mean to leave it, and come back to nature in the forest where life is so simple and everything is true. Slide 19. Of course, we have here a great comparison in this poem that the poet here compares between man and wind. Man's ingratitude is more bitter and more cruel than the very cold wind. Yes, we can uh, bear this wind, but we can't bear those ungr ungrateful and untrue friends. The poem contrasts nature, I mean cold wind, with man's rude behavior. By using contrast, Shakespeare is able to show that human behavior can be even worse, more painful than nature. Slide the, uh, 20, we, have, we are going here to have some questions. What is the main idea of the poem, Blue Blue? Or what is the poet's opinion of friendship? The same answer for those two questions. The poet says that all love is just foolishness. And all friendship is false because people only pretend to love each other. So the poet invites people to abandon their false life and come back to nature where life is so simple and everything is true. Number two, on what occasion was the poem Blow Blow written? This poem is sung, is a song taken from his play, I mean Shakespeare's uh, play, As You Like It. In the play, a lawful duke was driven out of his dukedom by his wicked brother. The duke went to live in the forest with some of his followers, I mean true friends. One day while they were having a meal together, one of the duke followers sang that song, which reveals the feelings of the duke and his followers towards evil and wickedness. So, when you are going to be asked about the name of the person who wrote this poem, of course, I'm asking now about the poet, William Shakespeare. But if I asked you about the occasion in which this, this poem was written, you have to tell me that it was sang by one of the followers of this true duke in the forest. Okay? Thanks a lot for your great attention and goodbye.